Are you sick of not pulling anything in Madden packs? Make sure to head over to MMOEXP.com for the cheapest and most reliable Muck coins and use code MAZE for 5% off your order. Yo, what is going on boys? It is Maze and I'm back with another YouTube video today. I hope you guys are doing good and today I'm here to show you guys and fill you in on a newer method included with the gap packs but also just a method in general that you guys can use to make some extra coins. There are definitely a few ways to make this method work so let's get right into them. But before I get into this video make sure to drop a sub down below on the channel for the best coin making methods and mutt tips in Madden 21. Also, let's try and hit 20 likes on this video as well. I appreciate it. So the first thing you guys can do is open these get a player packs that I've shown you guys in many previous videos. You can open them and you can actually finish the set that I'm going to show you guys. So just keep that thought aside. You can open up those get a player packs. Any extra players you get from the get a player packs, you can actually use in this set as well. So if you have a lot of players left over from opening get a player packs, this is the right video for you. If not, there is still a different way to do this method, even if you don't feel like opening up these packs. All you want to do is come over to these sets, go all the way down to team affinity, go to team builders, but instead of doing the 84 you can actually do the 88 overall team builders as well most of these team builders go for about 24,000 to 25,000 coins if you average out the 85 to 86 is at about 7k the 83 is at about 4k and the 80 is at about 2k this set comes out to around 20,000 coins altogether so immediately that's already profit so the way you can make coins on this is that you can pull 83s and 80s. To, uh, you can pull up to 84 overalls and get a player packs. You probably have extra 80s to 84s left over from get a player packs that you know might take a while to sell. And if you open a lot of them, you probably have a lot of them left over. You can throw them into these. And then you can just buy one of these for less than 7,000 coins. You can automatically make a quick like 25k right there. But even outside of this, you can make coins just by sniping out these players. And I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. So remember, like I said, if you buy these at that benchmark price, you're going to make this whole set for about 20,000 coins. If you sell it for about 25K, you'll get about like two 2,000 coins or so for this set. So you're going to want to come over to the auction block and then we're going to start off at 80 to 81 because you're not going to go for 82. There's no point. Just get the 80 overalls. So it says that these are going for about this much, but if you just go team by team, you'll definitely be able to see. I'm actually, no, never mind. So you'll definitely be able to see that, you know, you can get these at about 2000 coins. If you sat here and you tried to snipe these out, you could easily get them for less than 2000. It takes like a few minutes to find. You already see one for 1900. I know that's, you know, one, only 100 coins less, but you guys kind of get the point. You can keep doing this 1400, 1600, 1800. You can easily get the 80s for less than 2000 coins. I've even gotten these for less than 1000. So if you can get this for less than 2000 coins, you're already making more profit. The point of is that you can automatically make profit on that set no matter what. But the thing about it is that you want to maximize your profit. So you want to get these for as cheap as possible. So now you go over to the 82s, 83s. Remember, we're looking for 83s in this. So all you have to do is scroll down. So these are going for about 45, you see right here. If you keep refreshing, so I see an 82 for 600. I might just buy that just cause, honestly. I mean, just to get a quick snipe, uh, especially for the video. Another one for a thousand. I'm going to buy all three of these. There's no reason not to. Um, but you guys kind of get the gist. I'm just doing this real quick to, uh, you know, get out the way. Because I'm getting pretty lucky. I don't know why that just came up. But anyways, we're looking for 83 overalls. So uh, nothing 83 here that we can really pick up. And I'm just going to keep going down the list and I'm going to show you guys that you can find these 83 overalls for less than 4,000 coins really, really easy. So boom, you already see here an 83 overall Eric Rowe for 3,000, another one for 35, 3,600. So I mean, right off the bat, you already see those. If you just keep going down the list, you'll end up finding more of them for less than 4K. And now we're going to head over to the 86s. You can also do 85s. 85 is probably well more recommended because 86s go for a little bit more. So yeah, it's as simple as that. So go through the 80s, 82s, get them for less than 2K. Go to the 82s, the 83s and get 83s, not 82s. You have to get 83s for less than 4K. And now we're looking for 85s for less than um, for less than 7K. And I actually see one for 3K. I don't know why I'm getting lucky with all these snipes now that I'm not even doing a sniping video. I'm just sitting here trying to show you guys a method. But I guess you can see right there, um, I just got a Robert Quinn for 3,000 coins. Simple as that. Another one, Chad Johnson, 85 for 6,900 coins. And you kind of get the gist from there. I'm not going to continue to show you guys all. I'm just showing you guys how you can find these cards for super cheap. Just go to these specific overalls and scroll team by team and look for them i'm gonna show those are all the cards that we ended up buying and then i'm gonna go back to the set real quick and i'm gonna show you guys that if you go and throw those cards into the set now that we're back in the set all you have to do is go on my head all right or go on the auction block and see which 88 overall team builder is going for the most coins 
pick that one up from this set and just throw it up in the auction block and you will make coins every single time no matter what this is a very profitable set no matter what you do but we're just trying to look to maximize our profits and that's how you do it so that's pretty much gonna be it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you fully understand this and uh yeah for more mutt tips coin making methods anything make sure to drop a sub down below and let's also try and hit 20 likes on this video thank you guys so much hope you guys have a good one i will see you on the next one and peace